This wheel has reinvigorated the way I feel about EUCs. Despite it not being the prettiest wheel on the market, this is probably the best wheel I've been on in recent releases. Let me show you why. The 2500 watt motor is responsive, paired with the 1750 watt hours makes this an evenly distributed and an extremely comfortable and smooth experience to ride. The entire wheel just feels balanced, unlike the Gotway Nikola, which was a 16 inch wobble monster. Ever since I've been on an in-motion wheel, they've been able to program their firmware well. Try even their earlier wheels like the V8 and the V10F. It feels smooth, despite it not having suspension which I think a lot of people were hoping for with the V12. The 16 inch 3 inch wide tire comes out to be a bit of a veteran 16X and 18S hybrid of some sort. Its robust look comes from the inspiration of the veteran. It takes its responsiveness and world class speakers from the 16X and its skinny height from the 18S. Yes, that extremely tall wheel that Kingsong used to make. Once the seat is out, it's going to satisfy those riders who want a seated riding experience. The adjustable pedal heights means that you can adjust the pedals to the lowest position and obtain higher stability if you're riding at higher speeds. The thinner free motion pedals also mean that you won't scrape the pedals as often. Weirdly enough, despite this being Inmotion's fastest wheel ever, they've reduced the brightness on their front headlight, which does not make any sense. We all wish they kept the V11 headlight. It does however come with three light settings, high beam, low beam, and both on. I also don't like how the stock pads feel, especially when they're wet. You lose friction, and once you remove it, because they're clipped on, they don't sit flush anymore. Another thing I don't like about this wheel is the screen. With all the information that's needed to be displayed on this screen, it's a bit small, and it doesn't do the best job when a light is shining directly on it. Last thing, and perhaps more personal, is the exterior handle. I've never been a fan of exterior handles, and that's because if you crash, that's always going to be the first thing to go. This handle does feel quite sturdy, however, I still think it ruins the aesthetic of the wheel. I have, however, more good things to say about this wheel than bad. This is the world's smartest electric unicycle. Thin code security, all adjustable settings on a colorful LCD screen, and most importantly, a smart BMS that will avoid situations of a burnt motherboard or any more catastrophic damage. Another detail is that when riding through puddles, the water doesn't change the way the speakers sound. They still sound great. It's these details that make up how premium this wheel feels and how well this wheel rides, whilst offering range even for someone of my weight at 88 kilos. I also love the 360 degree RGB lights offering great visibility the speakers sound great, even though they aren't as loud or as bassy as the 16X, but still pretty good. To round it up, the V12 is an impressive wheel that makes it a bit of a chameleon in the EUC market. It's whatever you want it to be, whether it be a tall wheel with a flat top for a nice seated experience, a nimble agile wheel for easy maneuverability, an off-road wheel that offers great torque and adjustable pedal height, a commuter wheel with easy to use push and lift handle, a wheel with higher top speed to keep up on most group rides, a durable frame that doesn't come apart, a nice cruise machine with quality audio and RGB lights. Whatever it is that you may be looking for in your EUC, you'll find it in your V12. If you're interested in picking up the V12 from Freemotion, they're giving away free spike pedals with every pre-order. Check them out in the link below.